The Nigerian Senate on Tuesday became rowdy during the screening of one of the ministerial nominees, Nasir El Rufai, when Senator Sunday Karimi submitted a petition against the nominee. In his brief remarks, Karimi drew the attention of members to the petition, which he said bordered on security, coerciveness, and unity. In FCT as a minister, your record is there. And as two-time governor of Kaduna State, you did well. But I have a very strong petition against you that borders on security, unity, and coerciveness of Nigerian nation. And I think that petition has to be considered along in this screening exercise. Deputy Senate President Barao Jibrin, who was presiding, received the documents from the lawmaker, but when the Senate President Goswil Akwabi returned to his seat, he cautioned that such matters border on security and therefore should not be considered by the Senate. But the argument did not stand as the former governor chose to respond to some of the questions asked. The income per capita, the GDP per capita of Nigeria. But Your Excellency, even if we are able to generate 13,000 megawatts today, our transmission infrastructure can only do 5,000, maybe 6,000 at best. So one, the second major constraint to electricity supply in Nigeria is the transmission infrastructure. We need to close the loop in our transmission system so that the 13 system collapses we had in 2022 are not repeated again in our history. And this can be done. There is money to expand the transmission infrastructure. We just need to organize ourselves, remove politics from transmission procurement, and focus on improving our transmission infrastructure. His ruling president of the Senate, Goswil Akpambio, who refused to take the petition, said a number of petitions were submitted against a number of the ministerial nominees. In a similar development, Wale Adun, a ministerial nominee from Ogun State, spoke on his performance in Lagos. He stated that the deployment of technology was done ruthlessly. The income per capita, the GDP per capita of Nigeria was higher than that of China. As recently as 1990, today Chinese per capita income is $13,000 nearly. Nigeria's is just over $2,000. So you can see the gap that has opened up. And the reason why was that production growth was stalled by insecurity, by inflation, and by wasteful government expenditure to a large extent. However, in the last two months, there really has been a turnaround in the Nigerian economy, which is room for tremendous optimism. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.